One of the greatest features about Google Drive is the ability to share documents or folders with your coworkers or your students. Now, to share documents, it's very simple and straightforward. All you have to do is open your document, and once it's open, you'll notice at the top right you have a share button. Click on the share button, and you can add the email address of any user that you want to share your document with. Over on the right hand side you'll see a pencil. That means that if you share this file with this user, they'll be able to edit this file. If you don't want them to edit, simply click the drop down menu and you can change their user status to can comment or can view. You can even add a note letting them know why you're sharing the document with them. And then when you're ready to go, just click send. But if you look at the bottom right, you'll notice that there are some advanced options in the sharing section. If you click on advanced, you'll notice that at the top you see a link. You can also share a document using this link. And if you look at this first row where it says who has access, right now that link is set to private. If I click change over here on the right, then I can decide whether this link is public on the web whether anyone with the link can access it without signing into a Google account, whether that is limited to someone at, dom at my domain, or if it's turned off, then it will only be shared with specific people whose address I have entered into the share section. Right now I'm going to change that to anyone with the link and I'm going to make it can view and save. So if I chose to copy this link at the top, and add it to an email, I could send that email out to whomever I want to, and it would allow them limited access to the document as long as they have that link. If they lose the link, then they no longer have access. People with direct access, in other words, if I've typed their email address into the invite people section, will always have access to the document until I revoke it. I'm gonna click send, and then down at the bottom, a couple of other options that you'll notice are these owner settings. If I have a user that has edit access, like this one here, then I can check this box to prevent them from changing access or adding new people. And I can also disable their ability to download, print, or copy that document. Once you're finished, click save changes, and you're done. The user that you've entered into the share section will receive an email letting them know that you've shared a document with them. And when they go into their Google Drive, they can find any documents that have been shared with them in the Shared With Me section. Just by clicking on Shared With Me, they can see any of the documents that have been shared with them by other users. And if they wish to add them to their own drive, they can right click and choose Add to My Drive, giving them quicker access. In addition to sharing files, you can also share folders. If I go back to my drive and go down to my demo folder, I can choose to share my demo folder with whomever I want as well just by clicking the drop down menu and choosing share. Now what's the difference between sharing a document and a folder? If you share a folder, then that means that anyone you have shared that folder with will have access to the documents inside. And consequently, if you add any documents to that folder, those documents will inherit the sharing rights of the folder. Now this is great for student collaboration or even teacher collaboration if you're trying to share files across a department or between grades, especially if you're an administrator trying to share documents with your teachers.